Hello, in this video I quickly want to show you how the generate static site package works. I have published it a few days ago. You can see here the documentation. The documentation with the CLI. But I will demonstrate you how it works in the editor. So here in VS Code I have a index file, contact file and a script file see the index file it links to the contact page it includes that oh, this is too far it includes uh, the script tag and it has a list element and the script does just append a new list element to that list and on the contact page uh, there is nothing special so uh, quickly uh, open it in the server on the server to show how it looks like yes so you can see this the new uh, list element appended to the DOM and uh, nothing fancy on the contact page so now I want to pre-render that with uh, the new script I generated so I just open a new PowerShell window or, or bash or whatever you have. I will install this script uh, globally. It's the latest version. So I use npm install dash g for global and I will install the latest package. Just wait for it. So once installed, I will run it. You can see it uh, prompts for the input folder or URL. I uh, just type uh, a dot since we want to convert the current folder to a static page. And the output port is www. And that's OK. Next, it's fine. And entries, uh, static, uh, generate static site will crawl all your pages. And here you define the entry pages. You can uh, uh, add multiple pages separated by a space. Or by default, it will just uh, open the index page. And then uh, on the index page, it will detect that it links to the contact page. And it, it will crawl that as well. It will not crawl, however, external uh, links. If you link here to another uh, website, uh, Google, etc., uh, it will not be crawled. So just enter to continue, and it will crawl these pages, generate the static pages, and put them to the W folder. Now you can see, I just uh, quickly formatted that. These are indeed pre-rendered. So now the, is, the issue is uh, if I, you know, I if I use a five server, it will automatically navigate to the current file. So I'm here in the current file. So you can see that this uh, line here is pre-rendered, and this line here is uh, from that script file. So what if we only want that script file to be pre-rendered and not then executed on the client. Well, to do this, like you probably saw before, I just add um, uh, no SSR or however you like. And then I run the script again and just to make it quicker I add input and output just as arguments. I run it. Good. Then go back to the index file and you can see that the screw. Oh yeah, you yeah, know it's right. The only line here is client side generated and that's from that script. So the server-side generated content is gone. So uh, now if you, you only want to render it 
on the server side. Yes, it's I got it the wrong way. So no SSR means it will not be pre-rendered and SSR or SSR only means it will only pre be pre-rendered and not client side rendered. Let's have a look. The index page, yes, it is now pre-rendered and the script is gone. Means it will not be executed on the client. So that's pretty neat. So you have really just the output file without JavaScript or anything. And well, the script is still uh, copied in here, but it will not be uh, requested by the client and therefore not be executed. So that's uh, that's pretty cool feature. Now you can of course add different kinds of syntaxes. Here are the ones I, I showed you. So if you don't provide any attribute, special attribute, it will be uh, rendered on the client and on the server. Else here only during uh, uh, client side and SSR only will it be, be removed the script file will be removed from the final page then you can also use inline scripts but you can't use inline script with the no SSR tag you can only use inline script with SSR only tags which will then be removed from the final side as well or what you can do that's the best option if you want to use inline scripts uh, you will have that option in the window object uh, window dot is SSR and this part here will only be executed uh, in pre-render phase and this uh, everything in here will only be executed on the client side so I guess that it that's it it is pretty cool you uh, the the WW folder now you could put on the on your uh, on your server, and if you have images, uh, other static files, script, uh, CSS, uh, videos, etc., they will all be copied to this final W folder, and you can ship that as a production code without well without having to execute the scripts you don't need. Uh, hope it could show you exactly how it works and hope you can use it in your own projects. I will of course continue building the documentation and some great features. Um, you can see there is no link to the repositories yet etc but that will be available in the near future. So uh, yeah, hope you liked it.